Hey guys, it is Nitro1 here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. Okay, so last time we got the Relic Badge from Fantina at the Heart Home Gym and subsequently beat our rival Dundratini. And today we're going to start making our way over to Salaceon Town. So, let's go. So we have some nice uh, relaxing music in Route 209. <laughs> I love this music actually. It's I think it's actually one of uh, Jaywitz's favourite uh, Pokemon tunes. So anyway, we got a we got a trainer. So uh, let's go battle uh, him or her. I can't remember if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, oh, it's a boy. Okay. So he has a uh, Badoo. Uh, let's go for a seismic toss. Oh damn it! You paralyzed. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go for. We'll just keep on spamming the seismic tosses. Okay, Bonds lie. We'll switch into join for that. I'm gonna go for a Razor Leaf, and that should be a one hit KO. And Eevee, uh, we'll switch back into Jackhammer. And we'll go for a Karate Chop. And we'll go for another one. And there we go, that's uh, Eevee down. And Pichu, okay, we'll switch into uh, Floatzel for that. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Pichu will not survive a crunch. There we go. Oh, but it's <laughs> paralyzed. Oh well. Uh, I think we'll go back and heal, actually, because... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've got enough uh, Paralyzed Heals to fully heal um, Machop and uh, Floatzel, so uh, yeah, we'll just head back to the Pokemon Center. So uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, it's been a pretty relaxing uh, week, actually. I've had uh, a week off school, and I've got another week off school um, next week. And um, yeah, of course I've been uh, studying like hell for my exams that I've got in May. But uh, I've also been um, relaxing out in the sun as well because it's actually been really, really sunny this week, which is unsurprising. I mean, what, uh, I mean surprising, rather. Surprising for uh, the UK because uh, we hardly ever get any sun. Like, uh, any sun is just an absolute blessing to us, honestly. <laughs> I don't have to describe it any other way, but yeah. It's just awesome when it's, uh, when it's sunny. Anyway. Um, let's see, um, do you have any repels? Okay, I've got 12 repels, that'll, uh, that should be enough to last me the whole episode. So, uh, I don't think I can actually, uh, encounter any new Pokemon in this route because, um, I think, uh, all the Pokemon that are available in this route I've already caught. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I think this, uh, isn't a trainer, it's just a fisherman. Hmm, a good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Yes, it is. Hmm, where have identical minds? Here, take this good rod. I don't think I even obtained the, the old rod, actually. I think uh, the old rod is somewhere in Jubilife City. Um, but, uh, yeah, looks like I um, never uh, never went and got it. Now, uh, this jogger, he'll actually battle you in the morning. And uh, I'm actually recording this in the morning. It's actually 10am. But, um... Uh, basically, uh, the game class's uh, morning hours is um, uh, up till uh, 9 a.m. or up till 10 a.m. 9:59, I think it is, and uh, that's the time where you can battle the joggers. Uh, so uh, there's some twins here. Um, we'll switch with Streamliner up in front, so we got Streamliner and Join, and we'll battle these twins. We're tough because we battled together. We're gonna crunch and munch you all up. Nope, you're wrong. I am, with Floatzel. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we'll go for a Crunch on the Mime Junior, and we'll go for a Razor Leaf on the Bonsly. Uh, okay, it missed. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll go for another one. And there we go. So, uh, the emulator is still lagging a little bit today, um, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't. Um, right, we'll switch with uh, Join. But anyway, I can't really be helped. So I remember uh, this girl actually has a uh, Pichu. Yeah, I actually thought that this was one of the first time I played this game. I actually thought that it was a legit uh, Pikachu. Oh great, Power Fusion. Um, uh, we'll we'll manage. We'll manage. <laughs> oh god. Um, right, please, please, please. Oh great. Uh, this is uh, this will be trouble. Um, we'll go into Streamliner. <laughs> okay, we'll go for a crunch. Phew, that was close. Okay, um, I thought the join was uh, almost done for then. Okay. Uh, here's a hyper potion. Now, um, 
uh, past here, past this uh, bit of uh, water right here, if you have Surf, then um, there'll be like a small uh, place uh, where you can actually find a TM Giga Drain, which is a pretty useful uh, TM. Uh, okay, let's uh, heal up Join. Uh, so I've got four Paralyzed Heals, okay, that'll, uh, that'll do, I guess. Um, and we've got eight Super Potions, that should be enough. Okay, so, um, yep, let's uh, continue on. I, wonder, uh, I think I should actually uh, maybe use another super potion to heal up um, Join again. It wouldn't hurt to do that. Shame we don't have any potions. I should have uh, bought some more potions anyway. Okay, so, um, yeah, this uh, trainer, I can't remember what Pokemon this trainer has. Let's see. Okay, so uh, she's a Pokemon breeder, okay. Um, we'll go for a bite. And we'll go for another one. And Clefer. Hmm. We will go into Streamliner. <laughs> I should uh, I should be using uh, some, some of my other Pokemon, but uh, I kind of don't want to uh, risk any of them dying. So we'll go for Jackhammer for this Eevee. And we'll go for a Karate Chop. Uh, okay, Mime Junior. Uh, we'll go back into uh, Streamliner. And we'll go for a crunch. And that should be one hit KO. And there we go. Now, uh, again, this jogger will uh, battle you uh, in the morning. I think uh, this jogger actually has a uh, Staravia. And uh, the previous jogger had uh, a Luxio. So, uh, yeah, just um, a quick warning in advance. Um, let's see. I think there's a double battle uh, a bit uh, coming up here. So, uh, I think I'll keep um, Join and uh, Floatzel up in front. Now, if you come over here, uh, if you actually have uh, the odd keystone, uh, I think uh, a bit later, uh, you can actually uh, battle Spiritomb here. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch Spiritomb because uh, I don't really like Spiritomb. I know it has um, I know it has no weaknesses, but other than that, it's really not that good of a Pokemon, to be honest. So, um, we've got a Raspberry here. Okay, so, um, if you come up here, uh, I think uh, there's a cowgirl up here that has a Ponyta, so uh, I think I'm going to yeah, switch with um, Streamliner just to battle this cowgirl. It's pretty cool how she has the uh, Hiker Encounter theme as well. <laughs> okay, we'll go for an Aqua Jet. And there we go. So, um, now this uh, young couple has a uh, Beniri and um, uh, a Buizel. So, uh, yep, I'm going to hope to uh, KO this Beniri before it deals uh, much damage to uh, any of my Pokemon. So, I'll go for a Crunch on this Beniri, and we'll go for a Razor Leaf. Uh, just, uh, so, use Quick Attack. Thankfully, it had. Thankfully, it didn't use a Jump Kick because I know that. Um, at uh, that level, uh, Beniri would have had um, a jump kick, which could be a problem. It's a really high <laughs> dealing uh, damage damage dealing move. <laughs> so here's the Lost Tower. Now uh, I'm not going to cover the Lost Tower just yet um, because uh, you need Defog to uh, uh, if you want to explore the whole of it. I mean, it's not it's optional to get Defog, but it's um, it's a good idea to have Defog because. Uh, yeah, it's um, the fog in battle will uh, raise uh, Pokemon's evasion stat, and you don't really want that. So um, uh, I can't remember what item this is. Uh, I should get a Doofus out the PC and uh, cut it down. But if you come up there, uh, that um, there's an item past uh, that uh, little slope just there. Uh, that's actually a calcium up there. So um, yeah, it might be useful to get that. I'm not going to get it, but um, if you guys want to get that, then uh, yeah, it's all right. So we've actually uh, got to the end of Route 209. I just want to check the time. Okay, so uh, nearly 10 minutes. Uh, we'll continue. So here we have Selassie on town, finally. And look who it is! Yahoo! Hey Matt, I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favour. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh right, it's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool, you have to check it out. I haven't found a hidden machine, it was Defog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya! See ya, Dumdratini. So, here we have Selassie on town. Free of worry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got some berries here. We've got a Persian berry. That's pretty cool. 
And a Nana Berry as well. I'll just speed this up. And another Nana Berry. And I think that's probably another Persian Berry. Oh, Figgy Berry, okay. Okay, so uh, let's just buy some uh, items at the Pokemon Mart. That might be a good idea. So let's see, do we have enough uh, Pokeballs? Um, that should do us, I think. Ten Pokeballs should do us. For now, um, it might be a good idea to stock up on a couple of Great Balls now. Now that we uh, have them at our disposal. And buy a couple of potions as well. We'll buy five of them. And uh, we'll battle, uh, I mean, we'll buy some uh, more super potions. We'll buy four of them. And that should be enough. What do these people have to say? If you're not totally happy with a repel, consider moving up to a super repel. Oh yeah, of course you can get uh, super repels now. Um, we'll buy some, actually. Yeah, because those super repels are uh, more cost-efficient than uh, max repels, if you guys didn't know. So we'll buy uh, ten super repels. And we'll see what item, uh, what items uh, you can get here. Okay, a net ball, nest ball, and a dusk ball. Oh wow, a dusk ball! Uh, we'll buy, uh, we'll actually buy some. Uh, we'll buy uh, two dusk balls, just in case I uh, encounter a brand new Pokemon uh, at night <laughs> while I'm grinding, because I usually uh, grind uh, at night. So uh, let's just do a bit of exploring of uh, Celestia on Town. Your encounters with Pokemon can be considered your shared history. This is a Pokedex app called Pokemon History. Use it to see your history of Pokemon catches. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we could um, uh, we could uh, take a look at it at the end of the uh, Let's Play, actually. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, so this is the daycare. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, one of the first videos I uploaded to my channel was actually um, me uh, breeding a Chimchar with uh, Fire Punch and Thunder Punch uh, at the uh, daycare in Platinum. Uh, it was uploaded um, nearly three years ago, actually. It's uh, quite a while ago. And if you guys want to watch it, then uh, feel free to. It's uh, the most viewed video on my channel. It's uh, got over 2,000 views. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's only four minutes long. And of course, it's recorded with uh, my camcorder and my DSi XL. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty cool video. I uh, like to watch it some sometimes. So uh, yeah, of course, I'm, I won't be using the daycare because of course the rules that I'm playing by, no legendaries, no trading, no eggs. So uh, did I even heal up at the Pokemon Center? I don't think I did. Let's uh, go and heal up. And there's a Pikachu at the Pokemon Center. I think uh, that uh, Pikachu uh, girl will uh, battle you if you, you talk to her. I'm not going to battle her because uh, I kind of want to um, explore a bit more of Salacion Town uh, for the uh, during the episode. Okay, so uh, if you come over here, uh, this is where you can get heart scales by um, showing uh, a Pokemon to uh, these people here. Oh, welcome, you saw the notice outside us hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? You must know Professor Rowan. You're just the Pokemon searching expert we've been looking for. Shinx, I want you to bring me one. You must bring it today or we're not going to be able to run our main article. Well, uh, I've got a dead Luxio. Uh, is that good enough for you? <laughs> I remember uh, the first time... Um, uh, the first time I uh, played Platinum and I uh, talked to that guy, the first Pokemon he wanted me to bring him was Skuntank, and uh, the funny thing is you can't actually get Stunky in uh, Platinum. You can in Diamond, but you can't in Pearl or Platinum. Because uh, I know Stunky is uh, Diamond exclusive, and um, Glammeow is Pearl exclusive, and uh, Krogonk is Platinum ex uh, exclusive. I nearly said exclusive there. <laughs> is that even a word? We'll just uh, go in these houses and talk to uh, all these uh, people. Okay, so I think there are a couple of items you can actually get uh, here. So if we uh, just keep on uh, uh, moving, um, keep on going around uh, this place here, and uh, we'll get these items. Uh, what's uh, in this house? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, does this uh, person give you a seal case? Okay. So she shows, uh, she, yeah, she does uh, give you a seal case. So, um, yeah, I might actually uh, put some seals on um, on uh, my Pokeballs uh, just for the Elite Four, because uh, that's what I did for my Pokemon Heart Gold Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. 
but um, I don't know if I'll uh, have to have enough time to uh, you know stock up on the seals because of course you can only get them really get them once a day, and of course um, you can't get them um, in uh, until uh, uh, the final city, which is a sunny uh, sunny uh, shore city. I'll just use my bike just to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so uh, if you come up here, uh, this is actually uh, the place where you can get uh, unknown. So um, yeah, we could uh, just do a little bit of exploring. You can only catch uh, unknown here, so um, I'm going to uh, just spray repel because I don't really want to catch any unknown. In my opinion, unknown is uh, one of my least favorite Pokemon. Honestly, my least favorite of all time is Darkrai though. <laughs> I absolutely hate Darkrai. It's so annoying. <laughs> Anyway, if you just check, uh, check the rocks here, you can actually get some stones here. And I actually want to get a Thunderstone uh, to evolve uh, Eevee into Jolteon. I won't do it in this episode, but um, when the time, uh, near the time, I'll um, uh, yeah, uh, put the Thunderstone on uh, Eevee and evolve it into Jolteon. Okay, so there's no item here. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, come down here. Oh wow, there's a battle here. Oh wow. <laughs> I, I uh, never knew that. Okay, let's uh, battle. So, Geodude, okay, this should be a pretty simple battle. Okay, and another Geodude. I didn't know you could uh, actually battle any trainers here. Okay, Bronzor. Um, we'll keep Streamliner in. And we'll go for a crunch. And another crunch. And that should be uh, Ruin Maniac Carl. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool how um, the lo the uh, this place has the same uh, music as um, Eterna Forest. I think uh, the Lost Tower as well has the uh, has that uh, same music as well. Okay, no item there. Uh, I think we've already been uh, here. Uh, if we go down here, then uh, hopefully we'll get another item. What happens if you come down here? <laughs> wow, I'm getting lost already. Okay, so here's the Thunderstone. Okay. That's uh, useful to... Nope. Okay, we'll spray another repel. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a bit of a shame how uh, Unknown is extremely weak, how it only has um, hidden power. Because uh, otherwise, uh, it would be worth uh, catching all the unknown just for just for fun, but I don't really find it that that uh, fun to be honest. I think I'm lost. <laughs> um, I wonder what's down here. Oh well, there's some uh, items here. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. A nugget. Oh, that's uh, useful. Oh, here we go. Here's HMO5 Defog. I might teach that to a uh, Power because uh, Power is the only Pokemon that uh, of mine that can learn Defog. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Ah, oh, interesting. And an odd incense. I'm not sure what odd incense does actually. Let's check. Okay, boost the power of psychic type moves. Okay. I might give that to uh, Kadabra. Okay, let's just move back upstairs. <laughs> I can't remember where I uh, came from. Uh, did I come down, uh, down from here? No, I didn't. It was from here, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's come up here. And we'll come up here. And uh, let's talk to this guy again. Hey, now looky here. What have you what you have there? That is hidden machine defog. Can you loan it to me real quick? I'll make it worth your while. Uh yeah, okay. So I teach my Staravia the hidden move defog like so, and done! Thanks, you're my rescuer. Ha ha ha, here you go, my thanks, as promised. So here we have the green shard. So uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty useful item, I guess. It yeah, might come useful a bit later. So how are we doing for time? Okay, we've nearly uh, we've nearly been recording for 20 minutes, so how about we conclude the episode uh, off there today? So we'll just exit the, um, we'll just exit the uh, ruins. And we shall conclude the episode. So um, I'll do a bit more exploring of um, the ruins in the in a grinding montage or something like that. I'll also explore the lost tower in the grinding montage as well, and I'll get that item as well. 
<laughs> Not quite sure how to get that item though. Might have to do a bit of uh, further exploring myself, but anyway. Uh, yeah, but that is pretty much the end of today's, today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, next time we're going to uh, continue our way. Uh, but we're going to start heading. Our, uh, <laughs> we're going to start heading uh, towards uh, the next uh, town with uh, the next gym, which is uh, Veilstone City. And uh, we've got quite a lot of uh, routes a uh, bit uh, coming up uh, soon. So uh, yeah, I might have to split the uh, routes up in uh, some separate episodes or something if the video takes too long. But anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!